This is the Able Carry Daily Plus backpack. If you're at all interested in this bag, I'll leave a link down in the description below, but let's go ahead and do a quick pocket walkthrough real quick. We're gonna start this pocket walkthrough with the outside pockets. So the first one you're gonna see here is going to be the quick access vertical pocket. Inside of this pocket, there's going to be one slip pocket and one zippered pocket. Outside of these two smaller pockets inside of the vertical compartment, there's also going to be some space where you can store miscellaneous items. This pocket here is going to be your zippered water bottle pocket, which is quite spacious and fits my water bottle comfortably. Moving on to the back of the bag, there's just going to be a hidden pocket where I keep an air tag. Front and center in the main compartment, there is going to be your laptop compartment. And then also there is a tablet compartment that can fit an 11 inch iPad Pro. And then after removing all of these miscellaneous items, you'll see that the main compartment is really just a very spacious open space with one quick access compartment at the top. So this bag is 21 liters. It's got VX21 X-Pack fabric. It's got a 16 inch laptop compartment, an 11 inch tablet compartment, hidden water bottle pocket, and YKK water resistant zippers. Real quick guys, if you're enjoying this video, then I would appreciate it if you gave it a like, and if you're really loving it, then maybe consider subscribing. I make videos on bags, everyday carry, and tech, so if that sounds like it interests you, then I think you'll like it here. All right, back to the video. All right, so let's go ahead and get into what I like about this bag. So the Able Carry Daily Plus makes a solid first impression with its impressive choice in materials and its solid build quality. The VX21 X-Pack fabric is going to give you solid water resistance, especially when coupled with the water resistant YKK zippers. Moreover, the VX21 is going to give you excellent tear puncture and abrasion resistance, resulting in a bag that on paper should last years depending on your application. Add on to that the excellent stitching and you have yourself a premium feeling product. The Hypalon zipper pulls are a nice touch too. It isn't clear what liner the Daily Plus is using because it's not mentioned on their website, but if I had to guess, it seems to be some sort of ripstop nylon. It feels immensely durable as a liner and the light gray color is excellent for visibility. It's worth mentioning that the liner is quite coarse and rough, resulting in not feeling as nice to touch. The Daily Plus is also fairly comfortable. It has a good balance to it and similar to say the Evergood Civic Half Zip. The bag feels sleek and close to my body, almost like an extension of myself. The straps feel firm and secure, and if you want to, you can use the sternum strap to really dial in the fit. Regarding looks, this bag has an urban and modern aesthetic with a sleek silhouette and not much to get snagged or caught on anything. It looks understated from afar, but when you really take a closer look, it has a unique design. The main compartment of this bag packs great with the caveat that if you use the internal water bottle pocket, it does take up quite a bit of space on the inside. Other than that, it's spacious, easy to access, and the laptop compartment is decent. One thing I've noticed with X-Pack bags is that they don't really perform great when overpacked. It gets really tight, and since the fabric doesn't have as much give, it can get uncomfortable to access. Just be sure not to overpack and you should be fine. For this bag, you'll likely need pouches if you're organizing lots of smaller items, which isn't a problem for me since I love organizing with pouches. So starting with what I dislike about this bag, and if you've watched any of my previous bag reviews, then you'll know that I really dislike internal water bottle pockets. They just take up too much space on the inside of the bag, and I'd prefer having external water bottle pockets instead. That being said, this is subjective, and internal water bottle pockets do have their benefits. Your bottle won't ever slip out, and it makes the silhouette of the bag a lot cleaner and sleeker. Furthermore, the vertical pocket of this bag is very unremarkable. This isn't necessarily a fault of Able Carry, more so it's a fault on the concept of vertical pockets. Don't get me wrong, they look really cool, but they're hard to organize, they're narrow, and everything falls to the bottom. It's hard to utilize the full height of the pocket, so to speak. The laptop compartment, as I mentioned before, is decent. I do want to mention that it feels like it's suspended an inch or two from the bottom of the bag, which is awesome. Other than that, it's not bad, it's not great, just decent. I think what would make this better is having a separate laptop compartment on the back of the bag, separate from the main compartment. This is because you have to get past the top fabric of the bag by either folding it over or bending the back panel. This problem is probably going to be worse the larger of a laptop you have. Lastly, I can't quite get the bag to consistently stand up on its own, which is disappointing because I feel like with a few tweaks to the design, it could be made to do so. I could be wrong though. So, final thoughts. I've heard some awesome things about Able Carry, and all of the positive sentiment towards them is absolutely warranted. My experience with this bag has shown me that they're committed to quality materials, craftsmanship, and design. While I do have my gripes with the vertical pocket, the water bottle pocket, and the laptop compartment, I still think that this is an excellent bag that will last for years. If you want to check this bag out, feel free to use the link in the description. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, I would appreciate it if you left a like. And if you really loved it, then maybe consider subscribing. If you want to see more of me, you can follow me on Instagram at MaroGhost. I'll leave that link down in the description as well. Other than that, I've been MaroGhost and I'll haunt you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Here we go.